Hello and welcome to my 2024 F1 Season Simulation Part 8. If you missed Part 7, make sure to check the other one out before watching this video. Let's get into it. So, we're here for Round 8 of 2024 McMonaco Grand Prix. Uh, last time out we had a very interesting Grand Prix uh, with Fernando Alonso winning his 33rd victory in Formula 1. Uh, when we're, uh, winning his third race in Formula 1, sorry. And this time we're going to Monaco, which should bring some def uh, definite unpredictability and things like that. Anyways, uh, for the weather, it's completely dry for the entire weekend, just like last time. But there's some participation for the next weekend, so hopefully we can get some rain action as well. In terms of upgrades, so no teams bring any big upgrades so far, with only a couple of teams bringing any some updates, small updates to the car. Uh, namely, McLaren bringing actually three of them. Hopefully, they will bring some kind of improvement to the car. Obviously, we don't really know uh, how the cars will perform in Monaco because it's such a different circuit to all of the other circuits we had so far. So, let's get into Q1 and see what the particular is like so far. Uh, as in Q1, provisionally, Nor Lando Norris tops the session ahead of the two Mercedes cars of Lewis Hamilton and George Russell, Max Verstappen in P4, uh, Leclerc P5, Oscar Piastri P6, Fernando Alonso P7, Daniel Ricciardo P8, Carlos Sainz P9 and Esteban Ocon P10. Perez is P11, Sunoda P12, Bottas P13, Gasly P14 and Stroll P15. With a Drivers knocked out in Q1 provisionally are Alex Albon, Gwen Ujo, Kevin Magnussen, Logan Sargent, and Nico Hulkenberg. So, uh, interesting. We have top three without a Red Bull, which is always exciting. Uh, with two Mercedes up there, and Lando Norris, who has been having a pretty, pretty quiet season so far, as well as Lewis Hamilton, those two being up there definitely will help their confidence going forward. Uh, Max only P4, but still it's up there within the two, two and a half tenths of a second behind. Uh, good performance from Daniel Ricciardo, for example, uh, up there in P8. Esteban Ocon as well uh, in the Alpine in P10. Perez lacking half a second behind for, uh, for Max Verstappen, as would usually expect. Lance Stroll, as always, very far behind Alonso. Unfortunately, Alonso isn't. Too far ahead this time, so Stroll is just barely making it into Q2 at this moment. In the final classification, we see there are no changes, no delay lap time, so this is how things stand. Out in Q1 are Alex Albon, Guan Yu Kevin Magnussen, Logan Sargent and Nico Hulkenberg. So, let's get into Q2. Q2 is stopped by Lando Norris once again, ahead of his McLaren teammate Oscar Piastri, Max Verstappen this time in P3 with two Mercedes up there once again in P4 and 5. Hamilton ahead of Russell once again. P6 for Leclerc, uh, P7 for Alonso, P8 Perez, P9 Carl Sainz and P10 Lance Stroll. Just making it to Q3 barely uh, in the provisional standings. Pierre Gasly in P11 uh, ahead of two racing bull, racing bull scars of Daniel Ricciardo, ahead of Yuki Tsunoda, Esteban Ocon in P14 and Valtteri Bottas and P15. So this is uh, another excitement as we have McLaren 1-2 so far in Q2. Uh, Charles Leclerc and overall Ferrari being qu quite a bit slow uh, on, this, on this particular circuit it seems like. Aston Martin uh, as well doesn't seem to like this circuit as a car. Uh, I was could, could, we could say the same for Red Bull technically because Red Bull, we used to see Red Bull dominate on every single circuit pretty much. But this time, Verstappen is not even at the top two, uh, two sessions in a row, so maybe you can see some excitement going forward. As we head into the final classification, there are no driver driver changes, no shovels in the order, uh, there are no delayed lap times either. So this is how things stand. Out in Q2 are Pierre Gasly, Daniel Ricciardo, Yuki Tsunoda, Esteban Ocon and Valtteri Bottas. So that's it for Q2, let's see. Who's on pole position for the Monaco Grand Prix in 2024? As we have Oscar Piastri on provisional pole position in qualifying three, uh, ahead of Lando Norris in P2. So Norris up there once again, even though this time around pretty, pretty much far behind. 
behind his teammate. Uh, just uh, we're not used to used to see that after Q1 and Q2, obviously, where Atlanta Norris stopped both sessions. George Russell once again up there in P3, uh, ever so consistent. Uh, P4 and P5 are for the Ferrari, so they made some progress into the Q3 session. Uh, Signs ahead of Charles Leclerc. Fernando Alonso P6, yeah, seems like the Aston Martin can get any higher this time. Lewis Hamilton only P7, uh, could, could have been better probably. Uh, P8 for Max Verstappen, uh, very very close margins with those up in, uh, up in front of him. Basically, if Max would set a lap time two tenths faster, he would be P2, and unfortunately he's only P8, as those margins are very very close. Uh, P9 for Stroll. Um, just under three tenths of a second behind Alonso, I guess it's an improvement. And Perez, uh, P10, as it was nowhere near Max this time either. So let's see if anything changes for the final classification. As we see, no changes. So this is the final qualifying free classification. We have Oscar Piastri starting in pole position ahead of Lionel Norris. Russell P3, Sainz P4, Charles Leclerc P5, Alonso P6, Hamilton P7. First up in PA, Stroll P9 and Perez P10. So let's recap the starting grid for the race in Monaco. If Oscar Piastri lining out of pole, pole position ahead of Lando Norris in P2, first of the grid consists of George Russell in P3, Carlos Sainz P4, Charles Leclerc P5, Fernando Alonso P6, Lewis Hamilton P7, Max Verstappen P8, Lance Stroll P9, and Checo Perez in P10, P11 for Pierre Gasly, uh, Daniel Ricciardo is in P12, Sunoda P13, Ocon P14, Valtteri Bottas in P15. So we have Alex Albon P16, Joe P17, Magnussen P18, uh, Logan Sargent P19, and Nico Hulkenberg all the way down in P20. So let's see what will the race bring us today for the 2024 Monaco Grand Prix. As we see Oscar Piastri winning his second race in his Formula 1 career, uh, second Grand Prix, let's say, it like that, with a fastest lap as well, ahead of George Russell in P2, who could jump Lionel Norris uh, to the better podium spot as Lionel Norris remains on the podium in P3. The Ferrari stayed the same in the uh, P4 for Carlos Sainz and P5 for Charles Leclerc. Uh, P6 for Max Verstappen, only P6, but I mean, it's exciting for a championship. So P7 for Alonso, uh, unfortunately dropping a place, as well as Lewis Hamilton in P8. Perez P9, uh, could have been better, I guess. Uh, P10 for Daniel Ricciardo, beating his teammate and scoring points for the Racing Bulls team. So you know that P11, just, just outside the points, as well as the two Alpines of Gasly, head of Ocon in P12 and P13. P14 for Valtteri Bottas, uh, P15 for Logan Sargent, Magnussen P16, Joe P17, and Hulkenberg is the last of the finishing drivers in P18. With the DNFs are for Stroll and Albon. The Albon's DNF didn't bring out anything, uh, didn't interrupt the session. It was just a reliability issue. Unfortunately, uh, had to retire during the race, but Stroll, on the other hand, had also reliability issues, but unfortunately uh, this time around it brought up a virtual safety car, which was unfortunate for a few drivers, namely Lionel Norris, and basically those drivers who lost the position pretty much as Monaco isn't great for overtaking, so the, the position changes are mainly from the virtual safety car, safety car itself. So yeah, this is the Monaco Grand Prix race results. Pretty Pretty good uh, result for McLaren, let's say, uh, with a lot of points for the team. Uh, I think it's 41, yeah, 41 points for the team in a non-sprint race weekend is very good for McLaren. Let's see how it changes and how it affects the World Drivers' Championship after round eight. As we can see, Max Verstappen still leading the championship on 126 points, with two victories, four podiums, three pole positions, and four fastest laps. As we see, George Russell making it to P2 in the World Drivers' Championship so far, once again uh, jumping Alonso on 111 points now, one victory, five podiums, and that's about it. Uh, dropping a place is Fernando Alonso in P3 on 104 points, a victory, three podiums and two pole positions. Remains the same is Charles Leclerc on 99 points, win a victory and two podiums and three passes laps. Uh, Oscar Piastri stays the same in P5 as well with 93 points, two victories, three podiums, two pole positions and a fastest lap. 
as we see Norris jumping, lose health in the Charge Champion so far on 72 points. Now in P6, two podiums to his name as well. Only one podium for Lewis Hamilton so far on 67 points in P7 Championship. P8 for Carlos Sainz so far, 62 points, one victory, but two podiums and one pole position. Uh, Perez on 50 points in P9 with one podium. Uh, P10 for Snowda on 42 points. That's it for the top 10. We see basically no changes uh, whatsoever in the in the other half of the Rajav Championship. Except for Daniel Ricciardo scored a point, but I couldn't make him jump Ocon in the World Drive Championship uh, so far. So yeah, um, a lot of points on the board for McLaren. Uh, finally, some good points. P5 and P6 for the World Drive Championship so far. Not that far behind uh, championship lead, but it's quite a significant margin since it's Max Verstappen. And you don't normally see Max losing a championship lead after round eight. Uh, Yep, George Russell rem uh, remaining up there, now jumped Alonso in P2, very good still from him. Uh, Hamilton lacking behind quite a bit uh, so far. Lana Norris catching up to his teammate, uh, actually to his teammate won, so technically he uh, his teammate uh, was... I mean, uh, the gap is bigger in points, but basically they're next to each other in the Rejoice Championship right now. There's no positions. Uh, yeah. Two victories for McLaren now. Actually, actually, I'm pretty sure only only two victories for uh, at most for any other team so far. As we can see that in the World Constructors Championship, Mercedes leads the way on the 178 points. One victory, six podiums, uh, zero pole positions, and zero fastest laps. That consistency is still showing 178 points and 6 podiums, that's very good for Mercedes. Uh, well, 2 points behind in P2 is Red Bull with 2 victories, 5 podiums, 3 pole positions and 4 fastest laps. Most of that from Max Verstappen. As we see McLaren job Ferrari in the championship once again in P3 now, 165 points. So very close behind the Red Bull and Mercedes now uh, is McLaren with 2 victories, 5 podiums. Two pole positions and the fastest lap definitely helped by this result. Ferrari not that far behind Mercedes overall. They're still 17 points behind the championship lead, but dropped the place to P4 on 161 points. Two victories, four podiums, one pole position, and three fastest laps. As we see, Aston Martin still being the known no man's land on 111 points, uh, one victory, three podiums, and two poles. Racing Bull Steam on 52 points, scoring just one point this weekend. You know, it's not looking like they're gonna finish anywhere else in the in the, char in the constructor championship. Pretty much settled uh, at this point, uh, unless some big upgrades for any of the teams below them happen. Um, Williams stays the same at 20 points in a podium. Uh, pretty much no no teams uh, from P7 to P10 in the constructor championship score any points. This time, yep, very very close and uh, top four, 17 points separating top four in the constructor championship after round eight, with the victories being uh, being pretty pretty even as well. Two victories each for Red Bull, McLaren, Ferrari. Actually, <laughs> Mercedes leading the way in the constructors without having the most victories is funny as well. Uh, without any pole positions and fastest lap whatsoever as well, <laughs> it's just. Interesting, yeah. Uh, very excited for this championship. Let's see uh, what's the next race, and it's Canada, uh, round nine for the 2024 uh, F1 season. So let's look forward to that, as it should come out tomorrow at the time of this recording. And there's some there's some rain in the in the in the way. Obviously, uh, it can it can. Not happen, but it's very likely that it's going to be raining during the weekend in Canada. So make sure to do, uh, be excited for that, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sign me up this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe, uh, like the video, and comment down below what you want me to do uh, in terms of F1 content because I'm gonna I'm gonna expand it quite a bit more uh, as the season progresses. Obviously, I haven't started yet. Uh, I'm gonna do some rankings, some tier lists, some predictions, and things like that. Basic 
F1 content, content creator stuff at this point. So yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy my content and see you next time. See ya.